Switching gears here, the earthquake along the Calaveras Fault did rattle nerves. That's the one we had yesterday. But it also is a reminder that another major East Bay Fault is long overdue for a much bigger quake. And for the hundreds of thousands of people that live along the Hayward Fault, the question today is, are we next? NBC Bears Pete Serrato speaking with seismologists about the takeaways from yesterday's quake. For folks living along the Hayward Fault in the East Bay, Yesterday's 5.1 magnitude earthquake is raising questions about what may be coming next. Uh, it kind of felt like there was a truck driving by, um, but you know, but you didn't know. Uh, but then you felt it a little bit more, and you realized it was an earthquake. Sabrina Aranda lives along the Hayward Fault Line, as evidenced by the number of cracks in her garage driveway created by smaller quakes over the years. Uh, I'd say an estimate about 10. 10 earthquakes that we've had over the last 20 years, you know, whether they're small or a little bit larger. So after yesterday's earthquake along the Calaveras, there's natural concern about the possibility of a larger quake in her very populated neighborhood. I think for our community, we always get a little rattled and wondering if this is going to be the birth or the big one, right? We, we want people to be aware of a Hayward uh, potential event because um, that is the most likely fault to host a large earthquake. Anne-Marie Balte is a seismologist for USGS. Yesterday's quake was centered in a relatively rural area at the base of Mount Hamilton. She says a 5.1 magnitude earthquake along the Hayward fault line would still only do limited damage, but something closer to 6.7, that could do some harm. Um, and that's where we you know, start to expect some serious uh, damage and where we really want people to be prepared. I also spoke with famed seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones. She says yesterday's earthquake did not increase the probability of the big one hitting the Hayward fault line, mainly due to the distance between its epicenter and the major Bay Area fault. We could see a triggered earthquake within about five kilometers, but no farther than that. And of course, that's nowhere near the Hayward fault, so it has no more impact on it than it would on the San Andreas fault. Meanwhile, for residents like Sabrina, the shaking is one more reminder to be prepared. You want to have at least three days worth of equipment and clothes and food, like at least in your house for the first three days. In Hayward, Pete Serratos, NBC Barry and News.